show, such as the North American International Auto Show here in Detroit, it's a lot of work. I mean, there's tens of thousands of square feet uh, of display space to cover and press conferences. But one of the things you wouldn't see if you're a consumer that you do see in the media are the press conferences. And here in Detroit, one of the things that uh, probably is bigger than anywhere else are the theatrics of it all. I mean, they're just, they're big production values in a lot of these press conferences. Some not so much, but others, they really go all out. And in this segment, I thought what we would do is show you just snippets of some of the more, shall we say, elaborate press conferences and show you how the big auto companies do their reveals to elicit attention, uh, get media attention, and to showcase their vehicles. It's a lot of work and a lot of theatrics here in Detroit at the North American International Auto Show. Where are you now? Enjoying a little me time in LA. Living keeping you busy? Things have been interesting. Nothing I can't handle though. Here's how it goes. Packages under wraps, nothing gets in your way. Pickup is LA, drop in Detroit on schedule. Failure not an option. Well, well, well. Welcome to the future. All systems, go. Let's show them what we got. by some of the earlier examples of press conferences you know it's really an elaborate setup that they do with these press days not quite like what you see at the consumer show it's a lot of work going end to end back and forth but I thought I'd show you an example of it and you know what even though it's a lot of work I gotta admit we got to have a little bit of fun so I understand uh, thank you so much sir uh, I got it I got to feed and drink right anyway from the North American International Auto Show in Detroit Michigan I'm Eric Novak I'm going to have some uh, cappuccino. I'll see you next time. Spectacular.